The following podcast is non-profit and is based on the IGCSE history curriculum. Hello and welcome to another episode of my podcast. In this episode, I will be going over the Yalta and Potsdam agreements. The Yalta conference took place between February 4th, 1945 and February 11th. 1945, to discuss and come to an agreement of what would happen after the Allies, Britain, the USA and the USSR, had won the war. It was attended by US President Franklin Roosevelt, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and General Secretary of the Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin. The US President, Franklin Roosevelt, believed that all European countries occupied by the Allies should have free and democratic elections after the war. He wished to maintain good relations with the USSR and replace the League of Nations with a new United Nations. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill wanted free and democratic elections, especially in Poland, as many Polish soldiers had fought for Britain in the war. He was worried that Stalin wanted to take over Eastern Europe and spread communism. Meanwhile, General Secretary of the Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin was concerned about the Soviet Union's safety, so he wanted to make sure that the countries on its borders were friendly to the USSR. This would mean suppressing free elections in these Eastern European countries. Finally, he wanted to keep the parts of Poland that he and the USSR had taken over as part of the Nazi Soviet Pact. In May of 1945, Germany surrendered to the Allies and the war in Europe ended. In July of 1945, the Third Wartime Conference took place between the Allies in Potsdam, Germany. However, there had been a number of changes since the conference five months ago in Yalta, and the relationship between the Allied leaders was greatly affected. So what had changed? Firstly, the USA had a new president, Harry Truman. On the 12th of April 1945, President Roosevelt passed away and was replaced by Vice President Harry Truman. While Roosevelt had been determined to maintain friendly relations with the USSR, Truman was much more anti-communist and suspicious of Stalin, believing that he was preparing to take over the whole of Europe. As a result, he wanted to get tough with the Soviets. Secondly, the Red Army was occupying the majority of Eastern Europe. After liberating Eastern Europe from Nazi control, Stalin kept his army stationed in the countries. By July, Soviet forces controlled the Baltic states, Finland, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Bulgaria and Romania. Stalin ignored the wishes of the Polish people and the Declaration on Liberated Europe as agreed at Yalta, using rigged elections to set up a communist government in Poland, insisting it was a defensive measure to secure the Soviet Union against any future attacks, as it creates a sort of buffer zone. Thirdly, on the 16th of June 1945, the Americans had successfully tested an atomic bomb in the Nevada desert, believing it could put the USA in a stronger position to negotiate with Stalin. Truman was prepared to use it as a bargaining chip to make Stalin give in to American demands. Also, during the Potsdam Conference, Churchill lost the British elections and was replaced by Clement Attlee halfway through the Potsdam Conference. Without Churchill's presence, the conference was dominated by rivalry and suspicion between Truman and Stalin. Despite these changes, some agreements were made. 1. Germany and its capital, Berlin, were to be divided into zones of occupation, as agreed at Yalta. 2. German war reparations were agreed, and each country was to take reparations from its own area of occupation. 3. The Nazi party was to be banned, and Nazi war criminals put on trial at the Nuremberg Trials. 4. Poland was to be divided at the Oder-Neisse line, and Eastern Territory was taken from Poland by the USSR. As a result, Poland was to be given Western German territory, as agreed at Yalta. 5. The United Kingdom and the US both recognised the new Polish government despite the restrictions and rigged elections carried out by the USSR. Also, Polish exiles in London were not allowed to join the government. Meanwhile, some disagreements arose during the conference. In addition to the reparations, Stalin wanted to take 10% of industrial machinery from western zones of Germany. 
Truman objected to this, as he did not want the German economy to follow the same fate as that of Weimar Republic after the Treaty of Versailles. Also, the Soviet Union wanted to share the occupation of Japan when they surrendered and Truman refused, as he knew that the atomic bomb would likely end the war quickly. This is the end of the episode. In the next episode, I'll be talking about Churchill's Iron Curtain speech and the Soviet takeover of Eastern Europe. This is the end of the podcast. Thank you for listening.